Newsflash. I agree with Bill Maher. It's a bull purity test. BDS is a bull purity test by people who want to appear woke but actually slept through history class. It's true. Bill Maher, host of HBO's Real Time, said this past week that the movement which invited Rashida Tlaib and Ilan Omar over to Israel and the two ladies accepted their invitation only to be banned by Israel from entering the country is a bunch of BS. It's a bull purity test. BDS is a bull purity test by people who want to appear woke but actually slept through history class. It's true. Thank you. It's, it's predicated on this notion, I think it's, it's very shallow thinking, that the Jews are in Israel mostly white and the Palestinians are browner, so they must be innocent and correct and the Jews must be wrong. As, as if the occupation came right out of the blue, that this completely peaceful people found themselves occupied. Forget about the infitadas and the suicide bombings rockets. And, and the rockets and how many wars. And uh, let me read Omar Barghouti is one of the co-founders of the movement. His quote, no Palestinian, rational Palestinian, not a sellout Palestinian will ever accept a Jewish state in Palestine. So that's where that comes from this movement, someone who doesn't even want a, Palest a Jewish state at all. Somehow this side never gets presented in the American media. It's very odd. Well, I think... Well, Bill, you get an A for paying attention not only to history class, but facts. As I've already said, this whole narrative that uh, the Palestinians were kicked out of their land is just an absolute canard. It is false. It is erroneous. It is, it is a lie. It's not their land. The land belongs to Israel. It always has. It always will. Whether or not you believe in the theological is irrelevant. The Bible itself is used and chronicled as a factual text of history. So, Israel actually has the oldest document, the Bible, as proof text that their land is their land. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It has been accepted as historical documented evidence for centuries. But yet, Rashida Tlaib and her family were innocently kicked off their property and it was all because we felt sorry for Jews after the Holocaust. And Bill Maher is absolutely 100% correct. And I can't believe I'm having to sit here today and agree with Bill Maher. But he's 100% when he says, why is the other side of this never told? Why do we not be told about their atrocities, their suicide bombings? Let's talk about their beheadings. Let's talk about their, their caliphate. Let's talk about the fact that they absolutely do not want Israel to exist at all. At all. So this idea that Ilan Omar, who refused to go over a month ago with a group of other congressmen and women because, well, that was at the behest of the Israeli government. They were welcome with open arms, and they had interaction and dialogue and meetings. And those two ladies couldn't go, wouldn't go, refused to go. But they would go over at the request to meet with an actual enemy of Israel, which makes them an enemy of our ally, which means then we have to be careful as a sovereign nation, how we want to be perceived by our number one ally in the region, Israel, if we're hobnobbing with a group of people dedicated to their complete annihilation and eradication from the planet. Gee, no, no problem with collusion there. No treasonous act there. The president was 100% right and once again 100% vindicated in why he said what he said on Friday. Absolutely 
without a doubt. This, this is not even in question anymore. And, and once again, the lying legacy corporate corrupt mainstream media, I can't believe I am having to agree with Bill Maher. It's all because the Jews over there, well, they're just white European Jews, and why the brown people, the people of color, they must be the victims here. They must be the innocents here. It's kind of like when we get the revisionist history of the Crusades. You know, nobody talks about the bloodshed that the Muslims were committing at that point because it was basically convert to our religion or die. Wow, what a, what a recruitment method. I mean, these people are barbaric and they still have fourth century mentality, i.e. Al-Qaeda, i.e. the entire jihad war on us over the fact that we are the infidel. I've said it before, I will say it again. To say that there is radical Islam and peaceful Islam is like saying, hey, there are Nazis we can work with, and there are just Nazis we can't. Really? They're, they're, no, they're, there's, you're a Nazi. And if you're a Nazi, we can't work with you. We don't support you. We reject you. See, really, there's only two forms of Islam. There is militant, revolutionary Islam, and there is evolutionary Islam. Militant, revolutionary Islam is pretty self-explanatory. These are the guys that make videos in caves and try to behead people. These are the people that want a caliphate, and they are willing to shed blood to do it. And they are into this repent or die message. On the other hand, evolutionary Islam comes to America, lives off the American welfare system, goes to college for free, because that's what we do. We don't take care of our own, but we'll let every person that comes in here, legally or illegally, who's been here all of five minutes, and put absolutely nothing into the system. Um... We'll, we'll let them have free education, free, 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 free everything. So they get a free education on us. Then they put on a suit and tie or a business professional attire if they're female, maybe with a hajib, maybe not, and they get themselves elected. And they're trying to spread their Sharia law and their way of life through our own legislative process using our own system against us. Both the revolutionary Islamist and the evolutionary Islamist want the same thing. Domination, control, and you are the infidel and you will either convert or die. And again, Bill Maher, on a previous program, said... There's really no difference in the Islamic mindset when it comes to those who have left Islam should die. And he said, now most Islamist individuals will not actually act on that, but mentally they believe if somebody has become an infidel, they need to die. Just flat out, they need to die. I'll say this for Bill Maher. For so many things that he is wrong on, he has been right from jump on this entire issue of the entire Islamic narrative that we are being spoon-fed by the lying legacy corporate corrupt mainstream media. They want the total eradication, destruction, and annihilation of Israel. They don't want to figure out a way to live there peacefully next to one another. They want Israel gone. And Israel building walls and protecting themselves is not an act of aggression. It's an act of survival and it's a defensive position. And I will say this, 
Israel has been far more patient in this whole scenario than I ever would have been. And they are as patient as they are because of their relationship with us. If we were not their number one ally, I think they would have eradicated most of this so-called Palestinian state a long time ago. And maybe what we need to do is unshackle them and let them. But nonetheless, Bill Maher gets a thumbs up once again, getting it right. And Rashida Tlaib, all I can say is, follow the president's advice. Go back to where you came from. If that's the place, if that's the setting that you believe that your ancestors and your family and 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 the people that you identify with have been so wronged, then by all means, go back. And as the president said, and this doesn't get quoted, fix that mess, then come back here and explain to us how we fix ours. But until then, shut up. Go away. That's enough. Hey, thank you for watching this video. I will explain this shirt in another video why I'm wearing this today, but I really do appreciate you watching. I, I, I have been reading so many of your comments, and thank you so much, and I do appreciate how you've said, hey, this channel ought to be bigger. I agree, and you can help me do that just by sharing this link, embedding this on other social media platforms. Let others know that we're here. Give us a thumbs up and make sure you're a subscriber and smack the bell for my next rant.